welcome. Those fine, beautiful people out there, what's good? You are now tuned in to my favorite podcast, the RSC, The Ringside Club. Like we always do around this time, the good guys have a survey. And this week, that survey is, what match opens the elimination chamber? I'm going to go ahead and say, the men's U.S. elimination chamber match will open the elimination chamber. Uh, I say the women's elimination chamber. I'm gonna say the men's. I'm gonna say Brock and Bobby. All right, mm. all right, Brock and Bobby. When we get back, we're gonna let y'all know who is indeed the new TV champ. Let's start the show. Peace to the gods, the ringside club pod. My name is AO, say you're the Ron and Don. Blame Boogie, why you at it? Blame Chad Law. K Fave is dead, break the fourth wall. Whatever style, whether it's loose or a strong style, come through the beam, you fly, burn the ball down. Back to the pad, chop it up for the car. Ringside club, intro to the squad as the show starts. Peace to the gods, and of course, peace to the earth, boys, girls, children of all ages. As previously mentioned, of course, we're tuned in to my favorite podcast, The Ringside Club. Everything you need to know, of course, is at theringsideclub.com. We're broadcasting live from the Empire Tri-State. We're across all social media platforms, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and we are, of course, Everywhere you can subscribe to any type of content, we're there. That means Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music for the audio, and YouTube for the video. Ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned, at some point in some show, before the end of February, I would indeed be holding championship gold. I would be clutching a title right here on the Ringside Club. The prophecy has come true. Let's give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Now. Welcome to the club, King. Finally. It's a long First time and coming. foremost, I want to thank my mom. She did a really, really good job. A really, 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 really motherfucking good job. I've been having a fucking hell of a week, man. My birthday was last week. Did some work that's across... All the big boy so uh, uh, media platforms. We don't even need to get a nap. Shouts it to is quite a February for this man. It it's, is. It's been amazing. It's only halfway through. Shouts to everybody at Atlantic. But yeah, the brand new Ringside Club TV predictions champion of the world, Craig, won that shit on the last episode of AEW Dynamite. And I'm proud. I will be a defending That's champion. Me. I am a modest, hardworking defending champion so whoever whoever wants to step up on the next tv show you just all you got to do is say the word but for now i will indeed take my victory lap with a tear in my eye yeah if you don't know name he is sameo joe not samoa (laughs) sameo joe (laughs) sameo joe baby ladies and gentlemen in case you don't know my name is ao don't follow me link me at my name is ao.com follow the work you're (laughs) hurt Pass it to the guy, Mr. Ron Adon. Hey, who are you? Let me introduce you to the other Don. Don, the Don, yes, Don, sir, Don, you know, Don. It's yours truly, Ron Don, and you can find me on all socials, Ron Don, PMF. See the hats in the background, you see the coffee, and salute to my guy for winning his first ever title. Boom. However, I, like I, I challenge you in the chats for next week, so... So That's okay, sir. TikTok. Your time is coming next Wednesday. That's okay, so, sir. So, so. That's okay, sir. Okay. I'm going to make sweet love to my uh-uh. wife on that title, so. <laughs> Yo, hey, yo, Gravara, <laughs> relax, oh, Jay. Man. All right. <laughs> yeah, fam. Uh, yeah, well, we'll wash it off before you give it back to me, you dig? Please. <laughs> now, book, what's good, man? Boom, 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 boom. Like what you did. What up, y'all? I'm sure everybody's favorite scapegoat playing boogie. I might have been there, but I won't be there. You heard me? Kick it over to Chad. Adrenaline in my soul. 
Oh shit. Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, the big bo- the big belt. <laughs> the RSC predictions heavyweight champion himself, Younger Diva, C H A D L A W in the spot right now. You know I'm always on go. Everywhere I need to be, putting space where it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Putting paint where it ain't. I'm out here just getting to it. I'm in Atlanta right now, moving and shaking. I'll be back up top very shortly. By the time y'all see this episode, I will be holding the Ringside Club Predictions Heavyweight Championship after Elimination Chamber and the New Japan Show. And I'll also most likely be your television champion after I defeat AO on this upcoming episode of Dynamite. So, champ champ. Everybody's gunning. Everybody's champ gunning. champ on his way. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to pod while the service is rocking. Let's get to it, fellas. Let's talk some wrestling. Word up. So let's get right into a while. Chad's uh, Wi-Fi is with you. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of wrestling coming up this weekend. Of course, we got the uh, the Battle in the Valley New Japan show. We got Elimination Chamber. Let's just hit like three, four really, really quick news notes. It's been a slow news week, but there's been some interesting stories to come up. First and foremost, Ring of Honor TV starts on March 2nd. It's been a very long time. Actually, I saw somebody say this is a full calendar year just about when Tony announced the purchase of Ring of Honor versus when it's actually going to go live on Honor Club. So everybody's looking forward to that. Tapings, I think, at the end of this month and they, they dropped the new episode on March 2nd on Honor Club. Um, MLW Underground, Major League Wrestling Underground. I finally got a chance to catch. They debuted last week, uh, episode two on Reels, by the way. So I'm sure everybody has Reels. If you have cable, a basic cable package of some sort, you have Reels. If not, you probably can catch it, you know, any of the other sites to be, you know, frequent or whatever. But the cool thing about this is MLW is finally on a somewhat major network, or at least a network that is way more accessible than any other network that they've been on. Um, so I caught episode one. Not bad, not bad at all. Production looks like it's better. They, they, you know, the action was already kind of, you know, pretty cool. A lot of good stars uh, moving in and out. A lot of people that we know on both shows, both uh, major networks, uh, AEW and, and WWE, made their way through MLW coming up. The champ over in AEW right now. First, first, first place, place I, I saw, saw him was in MLW. Is um is Enzo over in MLW yes. still? Yep. Dope. That's a good. Yeah, Enzo, good spot the main to guys are like like Enzo's doing his thing over there. You got uh, Alex Hammerstone still. who's the champ right now. Um, yeah, he's still a champ. Um, I need Jacob, Jacob Fatu and NXT immediately, man. Yeah, Jacob Fatu is over there. Um, <laughs> he, 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 word up. I can't do NXT. <laughs> Davey Richardson, you know what I'm saying? You got Johnny uh, Fusion as the MLW uh, openweight champion. Heavyweight hustle. Yeah, heavyweight Alex hustle. Alex Kane is dude. good. Uh, Calvin Tankman. Calvin Tankman, good. Yeah. The Bumaye Fight Club. EJ Aduka. What's up, dude? Myron. Duka. I heard he just left, though. Right. Duka. What's up, yeah, dude? Was there Myron? Which is like a wild spoiler, because like they, the way that they taped a lot of these episodes were taped like quite a while ago, so there's people that ain't even in. Like Karrion Cross was on, on an episode not too long ago when they was doing Fusion and shit. But right. what, was, oh, what was the other dude there? I uh, think Myron something. Myron Reed. Shout out to my guy, Myron, Myron, Myron Reed. Reed. Yeah, he left, too. Yeah, he, was, he was pretty dope. Myron yeah, Reed left, too. Shout out to my guy. Hey, Myron, man, if you tapped in, you know, we got a chair for you. Come, I'm going to have to send out the invite, man. Yeah. Come through. Yeah, set it up. So that's that MLW. Uh, Mark Briscoe is officially all elite. He was already a member of Ring of Honor. I mean, he is a, a foundational member of Ring of Honor. But since Tony bought it, he's, you know, signed a deal with Ring of Honor. Um, but they made the announcement after this past Dynamite this past week. He had his second match on uh, on AEW TV. And they threw the graphic up. So congrats to Mark Briscoe, who's officially all elite. That's yes, word. Sir. And and just real quick, I see a lot of people saying like mad negative shit to Tony Khan. Like, yeah, About sure, that? you signed him now. Why couldn't you sign him before? Like, yo, can yo, we whatever, just man, fucking yo. stop He'd being sign such backseat right. fucking drivers, sun, Monday morning quarterbacks, whatever you want to call it? Can we all just shut the fuck up and let shit be for for a change? Word, like, like, Mark Briscoe's the man. He's gonna yo, be congrats. a champion. Um, a singles champion of AEW. Yeah, I love him. I call a few MJF very, very shortly. I think he will be feuding with MJF at Trouble at the Bubble. Uh, Shouts to people that don't ever build shit and don't ever create shit talking shit about what people are doing. That's what's up. (laughs) Word. (laughs) Fucking love it. And finally, before we get into a real quick uh, breakdown of the, the New Japan show coming up, 
Um, rest in peace to the genius Landy Poffo, yes. mm-hmm. brother of Macho Man Randy Savage. Also, rest in peace. I had a Slim Jim last week. So, shouts to oh, Macho it's... Man Randy Savage. I mean, I didn't think we were going to pause and, this and early, pause but, but okay. you, know, you know, let it rock. Sorry. But yeah, shouts to the genius. Um, legend. Mm-hmm. He's been around. Everybody, you know, that knows wrestling knows who Landy Poffo is. Um, believe they're second generation, if I'm not mistaken, because it wasn't. Mm. Was the Poffo's pops like Papa Poffo? Was he in wrestling? I'm not. Papa Poffo. I could be wrong. Yeah, that's not, um, I could be wrong. I know Macho Man played amateur, like pro am baseball, baseball yeah, yeah, yeah. for a while. I don't know what else their family was into, but it's possible yeah, their dad sure. was in it. Yeah, yeah. but uh, regardless, yeah, rest in peace to uh, the to genius. Lenny Poffo, to the genius. All right, this weekend on Saturday we have. Let's two go, hey, Oaks Caliber. Oh, but, give it to him. <laughs> hey. I'm not claiming it like I, a couple episodes ago. Again, I ain't claiming to be a New Japan expert. I'm not claiming any of that shit. I just happen to watch it a little bit more than y'all. Shit, and way I more than I us. See, so. <laughs> <laughs> ain't even way. There ain't enough to watch for me. I think I'm, I'm ready for this fan, guy though. to give the I, rundown. I am a fan yeah, of their I'm style of wrestling. Yeah, yeah. All I'm doing, look, this is a I should I should have wore the lucha. Yo, that's match. a fire board you got the notes on match. too. Like that looks kind of fancy. Oh, shouts to my wife. This was a uh, this was actually a, a birthday present, but I got like the little digital board so I could throw some notes on real oh, quick. Oh, fire. that's fire. Yeah, it's just pretty dope. So and instead I did of wasting that paper last on week, things I that I'm not going to need, you know, I didn't even. I didn't even yeah, I just got it. Yeah, just got it. So you know, just just for shit like this, like just to be able to jot some quick notes down instead of wasting paper for some shit I ain't going to need in in an hour. I got this. So. Shouts to my wife. I love my wife. She's cool. Word, word. Cool. Stuff. So, yeah, so there's 10 matches. I highlighted a couple. Smith said um, 10 matches. Five or six. Yeah, there's 10 matches. Here's the thing. I will I – mean, everybody has their preference. I'm pretty sure that by the end of both of these shows, I'm probably going to enjoy this pay-per-view more than Elimination Chamber. I'm not going to go into it with any bias. A good show is a good show. I call it spade a spade. But just this looks like it has a lot of interesting shit going on, such as obviously the big one that, that all of the American fans that are not necessarily tapped into New Japan, you know, Mercedes Monet. This was her, her dream was to finally wrestle in Japan. This is going to be her first match. We saw at Wrestle Kingdom. She came out. She challenged Kyrie, who was the IWGP women's champ. So this is for that title. Mercedes Monet versus Kyrie. IWGP uh, Women's Championship match. Before I mention anything else, anybody got any thoughts on Mercedes in Japan for the first time this match? Which way you think it's going to go? I'm glad she left Don't and mind. decided to not go the AEW route. She's taking over every other company because I feel like after she runs through Kyrie and the women's division over there, she's going to make her way to Mexico throughout the bottom half of the year. And I think it's going to get real spicy when her entire Valkyrie remix it up. Uh, for me, I'm just inter- interested to see where it's going to go. It's two former WWE wrestlers, so let's see what they got. You know, let's see where it's going to go. Where I feel like the um, the whole sailor character, we didn't really understand and appreciate it here in America, and it has its setting way better over there. And, and I think she's loved more and appreciated over there. So I think her, Kyrie saying, I'm saying, it just made way more sense for her to go back and do that work because she's dope she's always been dope in ring just like asuka it's just they're just fucking sleepers man they're like super super dope and nobody really pays attention too much um but it's rightful that she's the champion i haven't paid attention to a thing to see her win the belt i don't know what her skill set or move set looks like recently um all i know is that there's no way that from a business standpoint, you bring a star as big as Mercedes over and she doesn't win the title. So that's my take. However, from me paying attention to New Japan, even the little bit that I have, I've seen they have a much more traditional approach, I guess I would call it. So seeing the chase may be something we see. Maybe they don't put the belt on her immediately. Maybe it's some real dope shit and it's a really hard fought match and there's respect at the end of it just like they have with a lot of their matches and there's going to be more build up to part two or something and this is going to be their big shit because i don't know enough about japanese wrestling to know who the major players are in the male or female uh, side of things who does she fight after she fights Kyrie sane i have no idea so it's like 
you know, I really don't know what to expect. Like AO said, I'm just going to be open to it. And I haven't checked the clock, but this might officially be the longest I've ever talked about New Japan <laughs> ever. So guaranteed, I'm gonna pass one thousand percent guaranteed. I actually chattered. He said what he thought, so fuck it. Yeah, guaranteed. <laughs> well, welcome to this side, bro. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. All right. Speaking of major players, the other IWGP title, the Men's Championship, defending champion Okada versus Tanahashi. Tanahashi is a legend. We already know that. He's like the Cena. He's like the Ace. He's the guy over there. Okada is the current guy. He is the Roman over there, so to speak. He's been, I don't know how many reigns he's had, no pun intended, but he's had a lot of them. And he's Is that homeboy right with the blonde hair? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So at least I know what I'm talking about a little yeah. bit. See, I'm not, I'm not full yeah. of shit completely. Yeah, yeah. There All you right. go. Yeah, so that's, that's a, a match to pay attention to. My personal favorite wrestler in the industry is Zack Sabre Jr., who was the IWGP TV champ. 15-minute time limits, hard-hitting. They make sure I'm trying to either knock you out, tap you out really, really fast because we don't have a lot of time here. So he's defending. I believe this is going to be his second defense against the challenger, Clark Connors. This was an open open challenge just to get on the show. Clark Connors answered that. So that's the direction that's going in. Very interesting to see what Homicide and Tom Lawler do. That is a no, ro- no ropes, no DQ match. So that just looks and sounds like quality violence. I really want to see what that looks like. There's been like a few matches that I've seen that we've all seen that, that have had no ropes and MMA influence and shit like that. So that seems like the the title cool. match or the main event from like an EC, ECW pay per view or some shit yeah. like that. Yo, there was a dope match in House of Glory that uh, Kim Broadway and I don't remember who right now, top of my head. It wasn't uh wasn't Matt Travis R. I. P. It wasn't him because he was in Kim Broadway's corner, but it was a no ropes match, and it was, I think might have been like one of the first times I saw something like that. Fire. Fucking fire. This might not be new news, but in the previous segment we talked about news. Booker T having his own wrestling promotion isn't that a newer no. thing? Nah, he's had it for a while. Oh, he's um, had it for a long time. There's okay. a lot of dudes, that, uh, wrestlers, period, that he's trained. That have come from Bavard, I knew the training part, but I, yeah, yeah, I didn't know that he had like so an did, actual um, promotion. Yeah, Athena Athena did. Yeah. Roxy, 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 Roxy. But yeah, it's down there Texas, in um, it's probably in, it's in Texas for sure. I used to Houston. watch reality of wrestling okay. mad times. Like literally, I was I was wasn't it on fight. I was catching on YouTube. I'd go right to their channel. I literally was so up to date. Like the last thing I watched was when Booker T came back and became like the, one of the tag team champions or something like that. But they actually had a really like strong roster, man. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm my bad to throw it. Off, I know, I know. It's just. <laughs> The rare nah, shout a, out of good, reality of wrestling. Good. We could tag them in this in this yeah, video too. Wrestling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like shout out to them, AQA, um, the precision tactician, right. I think Ryan Andrews, I think there's a couple guys that like you know what I'm saying, the mysterious Q. There's mad people that like I fuck with like on that circuit that I'm like, yo, I never see them. I haven't seen them, you know what I'm saying? Like they just haven't made their way through the ropes yet. But I mean, hey, time will always tell. Yo, low key. Low key, Chad is the fucking Mike Tanay of the podcast. He knows mad shit. That <laughs> that's, a, that's a fact. <laughs> Mike Tanay. I've never, I've never looked Word that up. Man. The professor. <laughs> the Damn, professor are the Excalibur of this, of this four man booth? Shit. Nah, you you're Mike be, Tanay, bro. bro. <laughs> Chad knows it all. I'm the one watching there. That's Chad, if if there's a wrestling event in your local gymnasium, <laughs> Chad's been there. <laughs> it's like, yo, I actually saw that he wrestling knows come up at uh, the Rosenthal Theater. Yo, Chad like and F- Cornette still F- right C-W-A. around Memphis going to shows together. Yeah, family championship wrestling. <laughs> family <laughs> championship wrestling is crazy. <laughs> that sounds like Arkansas. <laughs> That's the shit they have in the fucking church. Family basement, championship yeah. wrestling. In Alabama. <laughs> Word up. So rounding it out, a couple more matches. Eddie Kingston versus Jay White. Jay White is in the news for various reasons. He just lost a loser leaves Japan match. Wow. Um, to Hikaleo. And this match against Eddie Kingston is a loser leaves New Japan Pro Wrestling. So basically, this looks like this is probably one of those matches that we know which direction it's going in. So it's more interesting. Like I want to see what happens in that match. Eddie Kingston and Jay White should be t- should be a quality. But just to see what direction jay white takes his career in after the, he actually uh, wasn't there a lot of match. speculation even you yourself you thought jay white was going to be a surprise entrant in yeah, the rumble, I think I right? yeah, prediction in the rumble. that one i thought that was kind of wild I, 
It was not that far. Your TV off, title. Hey, man. Hey, hey, TV title. Because there's, this there's no telling when his contract actually ended. He could just be fulfilling dates. You're right. right. You're right. right. It's only going to be a matter of time before he pops up at NXT, stand and deliver WrestleMania yeah. weekend, knocks Mellow out after he wins the NXT World Title from Braun Breaker, and debut of Brandon Black in NXT is here. Nah, I think they let him keep his name. I really hope he, he's one of them dudes. He built his name up enough to be able to. Keep Yo, that Jay out. White sounds mad interchangeable on NXT program. I'm sorry to say. It does, except that you know he built his name over. So, so does Samoa Joe. That's the most. In, I'm gonna pick a country and then my first name. Splice them shits together. That's an interchangeable what? name. What you? That could no been, new signees have, have kept their Joseph's, names though. That's the unfortunate thing. That's the only thing. That's why I just say like. But. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm just saying, like, if anybody would keep it, I think Jay White has built his shit up enough. Jay White-ish? Makes, yeah, it makes more business sense for them. To Man, it's the WWE, White. bro. He'll be Brandon Black, and he'll be holding the NXT World Heavyweight title by SummerSlam. I'm here for it. And I'll be watch. Jay. He'll either be Jay period White or Brandon J-A-Y-E Black. I'm telling you, he will be White. Brandon Black in six months' time. Only, no, that's that's terrible. It's going to happen. It's terrible. It might happen. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. And the last match I wanted to mention that's notable out of this 10-card match, we got the NJPW strong champ Fred Rosser against Kenta. I like Kenta. I fuck with Kenta. I'm curious to see what Fred Rosser's look like. I haven't really seen too much of him since uh, since he's been over in Japan, but looks dope. All right, mm-hmm. fellas. We have another pay-per-view. We have some predictions. It looked like, like prediction-wise, we might as well just keep it at, at Elimination Chamber because – Ain't no way any of us is going to answer any of I feel like I could be on my Steve Novak shit and be drunk and still shoot a wild three-pointer for that new Japan. I will say, I'm my my own uh, drunk. I'm surprised that I knew every wrestler that you mentioned on the card. So I'm saying. This is is a good quality producer. I feel like I could predict. Let me pick the matches that I know everybody knows these names. I think we could we could make some predictions right, on that podcast. Let's run through bro. it real quick. I think let's run could. through it real quick. It's recorded, so it's documented. But I'm not a champion, so I can't. That's put my fine. I'm, I'm that's making it happen. Nah, this, this, this is the double. This is the double. These 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 are these are these are pay per views right here. So this is all Chad. This is all Chad defense. I ain't defending till Wednesday, so I got the weekend with my shit. You heard me. TikTok. I right, <laughs> run through it real quick. Strong championship. NJPW strong. Fred Ross with the champ versus Kenta. I'm gonna go with Fred Rosser. Uh, shit, I'll go with Fred Rosser, too. So I don't see. I'm going to go with Kenta, just to be different. Kenta. Cool. Next match, Eddie Kingston versus Jay White, loser leaves New Japan, Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston, guy. straight up. Yeah, 100%. Jay White. <laughs> <laughs> My guy. So you really think you're going to do really well in the Elimination Chamber, clearly. <laughs> 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 this ain't it, King. Zack Sabre Jr., TV champ, defended against Claw Connor. Zack oh, Sabre it all the way. He ain't losing that. I'm going to trust you on this one. Zack Sabre. Yeah, yeah, look at you. You got to think about it. You follow it. <laughs> yeah. We got Homicide versus Filthy Tom Lawler in a no DQ, no ropes match. I have no fucking clue. I'm just going to go with Tom uh, Lawler. Fuck. Uh... I'll be different. I'll go homicide. Today, Junior. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take uh I'll take homicide. Homicide gets nothing from winning Tom Lawler. Bingo. Two more matches to go. We have the IWGP Men's Heavyweight Championship. Okada defending against Tanahashi. Okada will defend successfully. I I did all those Ron. sentiments. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll go with that. Okada. Finally, Kyrie defending the IWGP Women's Championship versus Mercedes Monet. Is this booked as the main event? It looks like on the card, actually, the Okada versus Tanahashi is going to be the last match. Word. But I would, I mean, fuck. This is the match that sold the pay-per-view before any other matches were announced. So right. regardless of placement, this is the main event as far as I'm concerned. Sure. But, yeah, Kyrie defending the title against Mercedes. 
He had me there for a minute, Bug, but I'm going to go with Mercedes winning the championship. Uh, Ryan, what you got? I think I'm going to go in the same direction. And let me just say something about, Merce- <clears throat> about Mercedes Monet. Every time that she went away, she came back with, with like some type of moveset. She came back with something new. So I expect the same thing here. So I think it's going to be a solid match. Yeah. Fresh moveset. Bug. Yeah. I like the chase, but like I said, the smart business decision, her name is Money. Uh, Money. They're they're, going to have Mercedes win, definitely. Mercedes. Okay. So at some point, I'm going to go back through this audio, tally it up, make sure everybody, but this is documented. Oh, this is going to be the official one? We still got to put it in the notes. No, these picks are the picks. These are I'm the just picks. Gonna oh, these I thought we still got to, you know what I mean? I thought it was just for the show content purposes. Uh, Who are you going to mm. change your pick later? <laughs> no, we still got a, there's still a couple things that could be announced. You know what I'm saying? Injuries can happen between now and time. This episode. Absolutely. I, I, I ain't even go through That's what I'm saying. Matches. You ain't Those say fucking Doja game. Cat versus Joey Janela. You know what I mean? You ain't say to other. I'm not. I'm not. We picking off of them six. Nah, put them all. Put the right whole now. card. I don't even have the card. Nah, in front let's of put the uh, whole I card. I'm not that. here, but in the note, put the whole card. And let's run through the whole card. So it's all cumulative points. He trying to pad. He trying to pad them that whack ass pick. Come on, guys. Mm-hmm. Are y'all not yeah. trying to get this title mm-hmm. for me or what? I'm bringing the oh, defense to y'all, Nick. I don't I'm know, cool fam. Six, I I'll have take no idea what's going on. I'm yo, not they, in the dark. they make six packs for a reason, y'all. I'll take the Hello. six. Hello. Hello. Elimination chamber time. <laughs> Elimination chamber. It's the conspiracy. Even as the champ, I still get screwed. Yo, I really understand MJF. This is wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shouts yeah. to the island. Yeah. <laughs> Shouts to the counties. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have one, two, three, four, five. So there's five matches right now. Are there any other matches that we don't have on this that are possible? I will people? tell on myself, I didn't get to see Raw this past week. Are either Bailey or Becky involved in the Elimination Chamber match? No, what they happened? weren't. They were in a triple threat with uh, Bianca Belair. With Bianca. If either, if either one of them had won, they would have got in, but uh, Belair would be both of them, so they're not in the chamber. Their roads That's to right. WrestleMania Montez are going to the one like one intersect with each other, and it's going to have a pretty wild take. I don't know if I should get into my take now or if I should just save that take, but I feel like there's going to be something brewing with Becky and Bailey, and I think it's going to culminate in a women's tag team. Okay. And I think, I think I damage control is going to get split, and I think Bailey and Becky are going to just like pair up, and that's going to. I see it. Pretty much merge or subtract EO and Dakota. They'll fizzle off, and then you're going to get Becky Bailey versus Ronda and uh, Shayna. And Shana. that's going to be the money tag team title match that people are going to be like, yo, that puts the women's tag division back on the map right there. Like, I'm looking forward to that one. So yeah, I think I'll that'll be that. the case. Yeah, but then then who are your champs? Either one of them. Either Nikki one Cross. of them will be the champions. Becky, Becky Bailey or and, and, and Carmella. Nah, Becky Bailey or Shayna and Ronda Shayna. Uh, Ron- no, I'm yeah, saying Ronda. your actual champions. Yeah, Ronda Shayna. Right now, Ronda who, Shana, who are the no, women not champions the tag champs? Oh, right now. Damage, yeah, damage no, we have Charlotte and we have Bianca as champions. Yeah, Damage Control is a tag, and then Charlotte and uh, and Bianca to Raw and SmackDown. So that's what I'm saying. If you put the, if you put the title belts on Becky Bailey. Well, I guess you could keep the belts on Charlotte and Bianca. Nah, we put them on Becky Bailey, and they'll feud with Ronda and Shayna. No, I'm not talking about the tag belts. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying if you have the tag champions as who right, you're right, who right. as who you're predicting, who are the actual women's title holders going to be? Well, we see like it looks like it's going to be Bianca and Oscar, or Rhea. And... <laughs> Spoiler alert! That's my pick for the elimination <clears throat> chamber. Right, and then um. And then the other one is is who Charlotte and, and uh, who Charlotte's about? Oh, Rhea. Yeah, right. yeah. I Charlotte, think there's yeah, enough. Charlotte, yeah. It's honestly stacked, bro. The women's division on Raw is just the women's division on the WWE in general is just stacked. So 
it doesn't have to be a case of will there be challengers like you could pull Zoe Stark from NXT any day after WrestleMania, and she'll put on a banger with Bianca Duh. or Charlotte or Rhea yeah, or fair. Oscar. That's and it'll be a problem, and she'll kill time for the next couple months. No problem. Yeah. Indy Indy Hart Hart will come too. through and just... I mean, shit, yeah, they got Chelsea that. Green playing this Karen fucking loser gimmick, so it's just like, you know what I mean? Y'all might as well start bringing up some notable people in NXT we enjoy. Raquel. Raquel is lost in the source. Hey, Raquel Rodriguez. She don't, She's lo- she's lost in the sauce right now. Currently, they got to get her to stop smiling and just. I could see her winning the chamber you know I mean? match. I don't know if we're getting into it, but I could see her possibly winning the chamber just to give us Raquel. All right, let's let's start it off. Let's start it off. Let's start it off. Um, I'm gonna go in order. No, I'm not. What are we doing? Women's chamber. Yeah. All right, women's chamber. Elimination chamber. So this guarantees the winner a Raw Women's Championship match at WrestleMania against the defending champion. Bianca Belair. So right now we have Asuka, Liv Morgan, Nikki Cross, Raquel Rodriguez, Natalia, and Carmella as the six participants. I'm going to go. Do we want to talk about this match before we get predictions? Because you was about to make a I'm right? just going to say Raquel. Go right into predictions. Raquel has a dark horse chance of winning, but I do feel Asuka Word. would be the best bet for this one. Yeah, yeah. I think Oscar for for a couple of reasons, like she had a lot of time off, so that gave people a time to miss her. Came back, but a little bit of a, a not necessarily an attitude change, because she's pretty much been doing the same thing. A rebrand, I've seen. yeah, but like just a, a a new look, a fresh coat of paint, so to speak. Um, and then she's also the most legitimate. Like she can win a title, and nobody's gonna be like, "Damn, I didn't see that coming," or it doesn't right. make sense. You know what I'm saying? So a big match. We've got to look at. What's the biggest marquee match that I can possibly make for WrestleMania? You can't put anything weak on a WrestleMania card because every everything needs. This is a two night WrestleMania, also, mm-hmm. so you need two nights of bangers to make sure that the, the pay per view is well received or the the premium live event, pardon me, is well received. So just looking at the rest of the participants, nothing else strikes me as a credible challenger, or nobody else rather strikes me as a credible challenger for Bianca Belair other than Oscar. So. Bang, my pick. Yeah, I pick uh I pick Asuka as well. Um she took a nice little time off. Um and I think she does have you know, she was having that little thing with uh what's her face? Uh with Bianca and uh uh Alexa Bliss before, so you could kinda revamp that a little bit. Um, yeah, Asuka all the way. And I'm looking at the rest of the competitors, like it's cool, but they ain't really I can't really see him as champion right now, so I say uh, just give it to Oscar. I'm not wrong with it. And and this card, and actually the men's card, probably the whole card, is the reason why I was saying this pay per view's main event is really fucking up the sauce for everybody else because it is a dope pay per view concept. There's a lot of cool matches going on. But the story of the main event is what's kind of fucking it up for everybody else this time. Even Bray Wyatt caught a stray here. But, uh, you know, so it just is what it is. But I, I pick Asuka, too. I, to me, it just doesn't make sense for anybody else to really win the match right now. I don't see anybody really getting waved up right now except for Asuka out of all of them. So, Asuka. Man, how enjoyable has it been to not have Bray Wyatt around for a bit? Speaking of Bray Wyatt. <laughs> Am I the only one that feels that way? Am I bugging? Am I wrong? You know, how crazy is it that when he was coming back and we're chasing these QR codes and it's like, oh, Bray's coming back. And what the fuck? He hasn't been around. It's, it's, just, it's, it's been And I've it's been, been like, bad, bro. man, and then he, it's been kind of cool. Don't got to worry about no weird shit happening. But it's the smartest thing they could have done because it was horribly received. So let's just... Give this a, a chance to kind of cool off. People miss him, and then hopefully when they do bring him back, it's for something that is well received and a little bit more thought out. It moves a little faster than the last joint. But intercepted then, Bray Wyatt coming back. Where does he go for WrestleMania? Since he's not here for Elimination Chamber, bro. Any question you ask me about Bray Wyatt, I have our resident Bray Wyatt. No, book, no you idea. got an answer for that one? Yeah, like I thought I did, but I have no idea. Like I don't think there. I don't know. This really fucked me up because I'm a huge fan. I was a huge fan of the chase. And then the fact that that pitch black match was just so unfulfilling to a story that was already derailing and not making sense much. And like, 
don't get me wrong, LA Knight's dope. I've become a fan of him because of this. And if that was the point, cool. But I don't think Bray Wyatt took all that time off to then be signed back just for his first feud to be with LA Knight. And when I saw that that's what was going on, I already knew that I was tuning out. And that's pretty much the way it went for me. Just because I do feel like we deserve more. Bray Wyatt deserved more. And I have no clue what happened, what went wrong, what went left. But if it's just like somehow, some way, this train just went completely off the tracks, I don't even think we see him at WrestleMania. I think maybe he's not around. I think they have enough draw to not have him at WrestleMania if, if that's the case. Because, like you said... Merch got sold, people were interested, and now they're not. <laughs> so I don't know. You know, the only thing, not the only thing, but I could see them doing something maybe with Karrion Cross as like an opener match or a popcorn match, five minutes, where it's really more about the spectacle and the entrance. Because neither one of them right I now are Karrion mm-hmm. Cross came back mm-hmm. and he fizzled out a little bit. Bray Wyatt came back and he fizzled out a little bit. So just for the spectacle, if nothing else, I could see them getting into something, and you start having, you know, Scarlet. Uh, what's carrying? That's Cross not bad, like? actually. Scarlet. That's not. You know bad. what I mean? I could see. Carrying awesome. Cross wrestles a Bray Wyatt esque style of just tossing niggas exactly. around. It's it's, a, it's just so brawl. like yeah. It's just that's brawl not brawl. a bad feud, and that actually could help both men out. And I'll even one up you on that one, Ao. Well, that was a good one. I almost feel like we're forgetting about a potential Bray Wyatt Wyatt family Wyatt Six collaboration with the Judgment Day. Because after this Edge and Beth Phoenix, <clears throat> after this Edge and Beth Phoenix shit fizzles out after Elimination Chamber, I don't see them going to WrestleMania. They could go to WrestleMania and do a singles match, but honestly, I don't need to see Edge and Finn Balor again. I don't need to see Judgment Day and Edge again. It's been a year. Wrap this shit up after Elimination Chamber. We'll get into that match then. But I think Bray Wyatt in a in a battle <laughs> with the Judgment Day, especially Finn, someone who was the first person to see the Fiend. You know what I'm saying? The first nigga to see The Fiend. You know what I mean? And then, you know, what happened after that, I think Bray Wyatt and Judgment Day or Bray Wyatt and Karrion Cross will start to be burst after Elimination Chamber heading into WrestleMania season. And that Judgment Day point really makes, makes me think. It makes a whole hell of a lot of sense because I think Rhea goes on to win. So she wins the title. She does her own thing, right? I see... um. Dom getting into some shit with his pops, right? I see some kind of splintering maybe after WrestleMania or maybe leading up right around of the Judgment Day. Even if they don't fall out with one another, they're all kind of doing their, their thing. So if you pull Finn, maybe he's still with uh with Punishment Martinez, but you pull Finn into a match. What's his name? Not Damian Priest. Damian Priest. Damian, uh, Damian Priest. Damian Priest. Priest. I, hate, I, hate, I hate when niggas do that shit on purpose, by the way. like Brandon Black, Black what I tell you, bro. Brandon Black. Come on, man. But like I could see like Finn being pulled in. Like that's what pulled Bray is the reason that Finn like he pulls the demon back out of Finn. You know what I'm saying? Like if if at some point Judgment Day goes their separate ways because they're doing their own thing, Bray is gonna be the catalyst for Finn, you know, kind of face turn, so to speak, and bring that shit back out of him. Cause I never thought that Finn would be a heel for this long anyway, and he's been killing it, but it, that, that's another another way to go at the very least. He's starting so to wear those Jake Hager hats. I don't know. <laughs> hey man, there's some people can wear buckets, some people can't. Next match. All right, moving along, we have the singles match for the un- no, nah, we're gonna leave that for last. That's last. Let's mixed go with tag. the other. Let's go with the mixed mm-hmm. tag. Let's go with the mixed tag. That's what you thought was gonna open the match, right? Oh, uh, the the show, right? Mixed tag. No, but I now that we speak about it, I kind of feel like that would be. A- could be. So we got the uh, Edge and Beth Phoenix versus the Judgment Days, Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley. Who do I pick? I'm going to go with Edge and Beth. I'm going to go with Edge and Beth. Like, Rhea Ripley's already guaranteed a slot in the main event, so who gives a fuck what happens with this match? But either way, she wouldn't be eating the pin. Finn would. Um, and then Edge and Beth Phoenix, they're both legends. You bring legends back for pops and wins. So, Word. simple. Um, I had an Edge and Beth as well. I'm really, I really don't have too much to say on this. Um, I think it's just gonna end it here because how long they've been going at each other, 
uh, since when, like, last summer or something like that. I might be going back a little too far, but I think it might end here. And I think, Chad, you were saying they might do a singles match uh, with Edge and – you said Edge and Finn Balor, I think you were saying, or something like that. Um, I mean, that could be cool to WrestleMania, but I think that whole feud, I think it should end here. I don't think it should drag it out any longer. So, yeah, I'm um, just going to go with Edge and Beth. rewind um i'm changing my pick i am going with Rhea and finn Who, who's fighting <laughs> it's finn and Rhea. you got edge and, and beth phoenix versus Rhea and finn that's what i thought i just wanted to make sure i had the right members <laughs> of the judgment day okay um the reason why there's no there's no way the they're gonna and- there's Ooh. no way they're gonna have Rhea go into wrestlemania a week Right. So I feel like they're gonna have them win. Damn. Mm. But I mean, I agree. I just uh, even if the team loses, she won't be the one to take the pin. True. So even if they lose, she ain't getting. Because it. the pay per view is very heel heavy on the outcome predictions, I'm going with Edge and Beth Phoenix to win. Um, where their road to WrestleMania goes, I don't know. Rhea Ripley's is already certified, as I said previously. Finn Edge. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I guess. If not that, where is Edge's road to WrestleMania going to lead? Home. Damn. Yeah, maybe, maybe he doesn't have a road to WrestleMania after this. Maybe we, we can't We do have two days. That's too big of a name. Too big of a name and too loaded of a roster. Yeah, they're shoehorning it. And I meant no disrespect. I'm just saying, just I don't know. Just for that pop. For no other reason for the pop. I don't think Edge misses Mania, yo. It's too star-studded of a mania, and Edge is too big of a name to miss out on L.A. Hollywood Mania after winning the first Money in the Bank at 2005 WrestleMania Hollywood. Mike Tenay, Chad Lawfett. Maybe it's going to be... Speaking of Edge. going to be Edge in a... Speaking of Edge, shout out to Christian. He's back, baby. Oh, word. Word. The peeps. Mm Mm-hmm. Kill switching young jungle boy out there. Fuck jungle boy. We hear my predictions. <laughs> Cage. Yo, I'm thinking maybe. I'm thinking maybe it's gonna be Edge and uh, could be Edge and Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. Who knows? Dude? Edge and Bray maybe Wyatt maybe. is weird, but I can take that because that yeah, I, can I can see, see that. that they're they're in such a limbo that like if they did happen to find each other, then it's like, huh, you call that one. Yeah, and then you would have like. Uh, What's Shorty's name? Bliss will come back to be the deterrent Beth. for, for Duh, Beth Phoenix. Thanks. Yeah. See, yeah. There you go. So, that's, a, oh, that's not a bad marquee there. match, actually. Yeah. I actually, Edge and Bray Wyatt actually ain't, ain't the worst thing I've seen. No. It don't sound right. terrible. Or oh, make. And of course, you know, for the pop, they'll, you know, brood. I just don't think it'll work because they heal the, the big face. Like, who's going to be healed? Edge just keeps flip flopping and Bray Wyatt. I think Edge by default. He just came back as a baby face. I just don't think I just don't see that happening again. It's like he's gonna keep going back and forth whenever, like you know what I'm saying. No, I think. No, so I'm saying like I think Edge by default is the is the face. I think Bray's gonna come back after uh, Elimination Chamber and like provoke him or something that will make him the heel right then and there and just build something to WrestleMania. Okay. Something like that. Yeah, Yeah. I can see that. All right, let's get to it. What's next? I was hoping we get Randy Orton, but I think he's really injured, man. Yeah. Yeah. Get well soon, Facts, Randy. Man. Randy. All right, five matches. We have two down. Let's go with the singles match. Probably going to be the last in this series. Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. One-on-one. I'd Bobby. Like to see, yeah, I'd like to see a, a win for Bobby. I just don't think that Brock loses, though. Like, I, it's, it's, this, is, this is probably the hardest one for me to pick. Cause I can see reasoning for both both ways. Like Brock is Brock, so oh, it's like shit. by default you think each have one and one, right? Instance, like, yeah, each, but each have one. Brock and is one. down but, bad. Yeah. I don't see Brock losing because Brock's down bad right now. Brock yeah. has not won shit lately. But that's also why, like, if you the the argument for for Bobby winning is just that, like, Brock's kind of been doing jobs recently. Number one, number two, it looks like we're you know. MVP is, is is back, and you got Shelton, and you know putting this whole thing back together. So maybe you want to heat these guys up just to give them some momentum. What better way to heat Bobby up for whatever his next run is going to be than for him to, to to come out on top against? I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say Bobby. I think I talked myself uh, into it. 
Bobby. Or, I'm going to go out and say Bobby. Bobby um, Beach Brown. I was, I was saying be. I picked Bobby too, but I'm now remembering. I'm thinking it's a, I think it's a last man standing match, I believe. So, oh, there's a step. I believe. I I'm gonna look that up. But at the same time, though, I picked Bobby, and if it is a last man standing match, what I'm thinking is, now you're gonna see the her business come back together because now, now you're gonna see uh, MVP come out with uh, um. <laughs> Alexander and um and what's his face man, it's a brain freeze right now. Um, Shel- Shelton Shelton oh, Benjamin and, Shelton. and they're gonna come yeah. out interfere and they're gonna hold Brock down. They're gonna throw tables, chairs, yeah, and probably throw, throw mad, mad stuff on, on him. And I see. I didn't know this that, was a stipulation match. When they I make it on Monday? So I'm checking it right now. Uh, let me see. Last man standing. Uh, okay. No, I'm y'all sorry. Are forgetting a, no. you're, y'all are forgetting a major component oh, no, never right mind. now. Major it's not component. no right now it doesn't say it's a last man standing match it's just it says it's a singles match what it i mean yeah that's what i'm seeing right I now. i pose a question to the group um yeah go what ahead to do what is wwe's track record in black history month oh this guy's good this white man is I'm good being y'all. dead serious i'm being dead serious no 100 percent. yeah you ain't wrong you ain't wrong. I mean, fuck. WWE's history with black people. Look at what they did to Kofi. They fed that man to Brock. And he didn't get a title shot since. Yo, we could check my statistics here, but it might even be these two exact men in Black History Month last year. And Brock went over. I Actually, it was Bobby Lashley who was WWE champion during Black History Month. That and be. that was two years ago. And then that was the Thunderdome, the end of the Thunderdome. The last match they had, Bobby beat Brock, if I'm not mistaken, on some bullshit. So naturally, because of the predictions we laid out and because of the outcomes being so heel heavy, Brock is going to kill the entire Hurt business if they come through. And then he's just going to F5 Bobby until his head hurts. Literally until Brock's head is swelling from lifting up Bobby Lashley mad times and F5ing him. And he's going to win. I want Bobby to win so bad, but I, I, I see yo, Brock there's no, I don't know. And yo, like your scenario, Chad, I can see happening, and it's so stupid. Yeah. Yo, so you fucking think stupid about that I can see the pops, yo. We pre- yeah. we're predicting exactly all the heels yeah, to win. That's, that's like that, that doesn't happen. Yeah. That doesn't happen. So it's like, yeah. who are the realistic baby faces that are gonna go over? Edge, <laughs> Oscar's kind of heel already. She's in between, so it's like, yay, Oscar wins. Uh, I didn't really care for Oscar to win. I didn't really want Oscar to win. Edge wins, crowd goes crazy. Brock wins, crowd goes crazy. Rest of the night, we're gonna go down the rest of the matches. But as we as we've listed our all predictions, I'm, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is that if if Brock comes out and you get the hurt business reforming and they come out and attack and he kills everybody. The stupidest shit about that is all of those guys have to come to work on Monday, and then what do you have them do? They lose credibility. But this is WWE, and they're fucking dumb. So I can see them doing it. I'm still going to stick with my pick, Bobby, but if that's the scenario that actually happens and he goes out and kills everybody, MVP included, (laughs) fuck it, why not? That's stupid as hell. That's stupid as hell, but I can see WWE doing it. But then if you look at it the other way, Brock just came back too. So for the hurt business to kill Brock off, it's like Brock's not taking a What's, break. What it now? Back. But 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 Brock doesn't lose anything if it's like five on one. Oh, no, he never one, loses. Brock nine, doesn't lose but... anything ever because yeah, he's right. fucking Brock. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's like yo, a lion off the leash is still a lion off Damn. the leash. He could have. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this Brock really is, is the cagiest. But Brock, we John, have Brock hasn't been, been winning. Do, huh? That's the one thing. Brock has not been winning, and it ain't hurting him. It ain't hurting him. He lost at at, at all but of the. But the last the time that this sh- happened, and I was right, was when they were murdering Seth, and I think I won the championship on this pick, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, it might not have been. I think Chad Chad was still reigning at that time. But I had um, I picked Seth Rollins to win because he had a string of losses, lost like mad matches, and I picked Seth Rollins. It was right after his match with Cody that had he had his injury, and I'm like, yeah, Seth's gonna lose this shit. Right. Or Seth but Brock ain't shit. on that losing well, streak had, shit. And Brock. And also, right. Brock's road to WrestleMania, another one around the rings. What the fuck is Brock's road to WrestleMania if he doesn't win? If he wins or he doesn't win, it's like, what is he going to do? Yeah. yeah, either way, either way, th- this feud is mm. done. 
I don't think it, I, I don't assume, even think it's done. I, assume I don't even think it's done either way. I don't even think it's done. I think her business for so if her business think, reforms is gonna just add another layer to this feud, man. Now he's gonna kill them all. So you think Brock this carries over with? the mania? It can't be a handicap match. It can't be Brock versus Steel Dirk, Cage. So some, Brock I think we get the stipulation match at Mania. Yeah. Mania. I can see that. And I fact checked it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just a singles match from what I see. That's what I'm saying. All their matches have been, okay. I think, regular steps for the yeah. most part. Yeah. So, so that's the thing. If if you're, what's your pick before I make my? I say Brock. Win. Brock is gonna get uh, the okay. final F five and get the crowd roaring with his win. So I'm gonna say to counter that with your own argument is if this feud continues after Elimination Chamber, it definitely doesn't make sense for for Brock to win. It makes sense for Bobby to win by the whole hurt business jumping Brock, because that's what carries them over into the into Mania. If Brock wins, it's like you gotta you gotta figure out a business way. jump Brock. If Brock wins now, they, they they swarm Brock and they beat the shit out of him, get their heat back, and put him out in time. So you're saying they jump? I think after if, the match. if if we see her business back, they'll swarm after the match and put Brock out in time for him to surprise Bobby and come back and claim the WrestleMania match. Because they're still mad time, man. Right, and I'm saying, and I'm saying, like, if there is a stip, like some kind of no DQ, whether it be last man or whatever the case, they jump him during the match. That's how they win. Brock comes out on next Raw whenever his next appearance is, and like, nah, fuck that. See me in the cage, mania, blah, 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 and that's how we get there. But either way, I'm going with Bobby. Picks is in. We have two more matches. We go with the other elimination chamber match, and then we're gonna go with the main event. The Elimination Chamber men's match. This is for the United States Championship. Defending champ Austin Theory defends against Seth Rollins, Johnny Gargano, Bronson Reed, Damian Priest, and Montez Ford. I'm going to go dark horse here. This is, to me, there's like two people I see. You got Austin Theory retaining, or you go really, really left field with Montez Ford with his first uh, singles championship. I'm gonna just say fuck it. I'm gonna go Montez for it. Oh man, I got uh, I'm I go got uh, I got Austin Theory. What did I be get? Yeah, I got Defended. yeah, I got Austin Theory retaining. And um, my second pick would have been Seth Rollins, but I feel like he's gonna take it off of him at WrestleMania. Everybody else in the match, they ain't built up. They're not built up enough as yet to win the title. Like Johnny Gargano, Bronson Reed, he's cool, but not as yet. Damian Priest, he's still rocking with Edge and uh, with that Edge situation, and Montez Ford. That would be dope, but I, I, I want to see that built up a little bit more. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick with um, with Austin Theory right now. Nah, it's gonna be Seth and uh and Logan. Oh and yeah, word, ah uh, word, word, that. word. All right, so then, then Austin Theory and shit, ha, <laughs> that'll be you know what? Nah, I don't want to say. Uh, what's the name, Bray Wyatt, and come and kill this nigga? <laughs> Yo, that'll be insane. I want to say that, but nah, that's a little too far fetched. But I'm still, you know, I'm still keeping it Austin Theory. I think he's still gonna retain because it, since you said that now, then Seth Rollins ain't definitely ain't winning that. Then he's gonna be going against uh against uh Logan. So yeah, so yeah, Austin Theory. Um, I think in my picks I picked Damian Priest, and I don't know what I was thinking about that day that I would have picked him, <laughs> but that's not my pick. Um, and the reason why I think I was doing that is just because they're like shining up. I thought you the Judgment Day in general. So I'm. Like, I thought you was doing that just because you wanted me to keep the belt as the prediction type of way, Jake. Nah, nah, that's not my pick. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, I truly do believe that. We either have Austin Theory retaining. I'm really fighting back and forth between Austin Theory retaining and going left field like AO said and and thinking that Montez Ford's going to take a championship. But then I don't see that as a road to WrestleMania for anything. The Street Profits are too over still. So many roads to WrestleMania undecided, ladies and gentlemen. But Austin Theory's will be decided very shortly as he'll be retaining. Um, yeah, I think it's Austin. Theory. As the reigning, defending Ringside Club Predictions Heavyweight Champion, I'm going to throw out the Champions Challenge. Oh, shit. The Champions 
Wait, book. Just real quick. Your your pick is yeah. Austin Theory, right, book? Book yes. theory. Book right. is theory. I'm theory. My champion's advantage challenge is going to be a ten point play. Five and five. Oh, <laughs> ten shit. point play. Okay. Someone could get it. Someone could jump in. Someone could take the lead. He sounds like Michael Scott. Someone right could now. take the lead of this pay per view. Um, the ten point play, five and five. We don't got to answer it now. Fuck it, let's answer it now. Who's going to be the first elimination and who's going to be the last elimination? Hey, yo, you can go first. Of course. Yeah, this is in the minutes. You, you want to write it down, you can write it down too. This is our 10 point play, <laughs> five and five. No, I, wanna, I just want to pick. So we have, again, Austin Theory is defending. Seth Rollins, Gargano, Bronson Reed, Damian Priest, and Montez Ford. Whoever gets this right gets ten pick, points on both points. I mean, we could do one. We could do five for one person, five for the other, or cumulative for ten. This is first elimination yep. and last elimination. So I'm gonna go first elimination. It's gonna be John. Mm. He's out of there. And who's who is your person that's winning pinning to win? I picked Montez Ford to win, so Austin Theory would be the last one. It's bold, my friend. Very bold. Uh, All right. Uh, what you uh, got, bro? I'm going. This is yeah, fucked up. I got shit. Uh, I'm trying to help y'all out. Y'all don't want I, these I, points, I clearly. The champ trying to retain. It's the, it's the mm-hmm. money nah, this is fucked up. It's going to be up. I didn't even mean to hit that drop down <laughs> five. Uh, <laughs> so I wanted to be different, but man, yeah, I might go Gargano too, because uh, it, he's lighting the pants. Pause. <laughs> doing? Why is he even in the match? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he even? In the that match? was insane, kid. <laughs> <laughs> that was wicked. Pause. Flag pause, on the pause, blade, pause, pause, boy. Pause, pause. We talking about wrestling? Look, he got there. kids, my what? nigga. This guy's talking about. Yo. That was wicked. Rock, get back to it, man. Take us home. Yo, Gargano, man. I'm going Gargano. <laughs> yeah. yeah Gargano's the first Gargano's. man out. First eliminated yeah, Gargano. Gargano. And then who's your last? My last, uh, I say Montez Ford. He's going to be the last. Yeah, because he, the they're going to wait for him to do some wild shit in, that, in, the, in the cage. They got to wait for him to do a crazy-ass spot before he gets eliminated. Uh, Bug. my first person out is gonna be Bronson Reed. My last person out is gonna be Montez Ford. Champ. My first person out, Montez Ford. Damn. Okay. My last person out. Yo, you are yo. My last person who gets pinned is Seth freaking Rollins. That makes way more sense than mine says being eliminated first. I mean, hey, I just want 10 points, yeah. man. I'm trying to just keep my title. That's all. I'm trying to just be the most reasonable and most rational here. I honestly forgot Seth what's, was in the match. What's reasonable? No, Seth was going to be, if I didn't pick, I just see, I think most people think Seth is going to win this, right? And he's not. He's going to face Logan Paul at Mania. That's what they've been teasing on camera. This ain't even no spoilers or dirt sheet shit. So, but it does make sense because he's like the most main event guy. But what makes sense about Montez Ford being eliminated first? I'm going to change mine. I don't want Montez Ford last. I have to pick Seth Rollins. I'm sorry. I completely forgot. Yeah, that I was thinking, I was yeah, thinking that pick. too. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm the champ, guys. Seth Rollins I know. Gotta go that's last. why I'm, I'm the prediction of champ. I'm happen. keeping my picks the same. I'm just saying, what what sense does it make to eliminate? Because Montez he was first? the last man to be added, and he's the most easily expendable. I think Bronson Reed's the most. Easily he's also expendable. the monster. I know he the poses match. a threat. Him and him and Damian Priest are going to have yeah. the monster face off. He's actually going to jump off Gargano the top of the pot. I feel is... like he's going to have the oh shit moment of the night when he Yo, bear I, slams, yeah, body slams you, off the you, top of a pot and kills him. He's, he's gonna fuck around and Vader. Yeah, when he Vader, Vader bombs off the top of the pot, the he's gonna have die. Moment. Actually, the biggest two spots are gonna be Bronson Reed and. Montez I give you that. Montez will have a very bright spot, but I think he's out of there. I think those would be the two. I think picks. he's gone. I think Gargano's out of there first. What the fuck? What has Gargano done? Dexter yeah, Loomis is gonna save Gargano if anything. From something. I think that's the, that's the only thing he's done was the shit with the, something with Dexter. You think Dexter Loomis, Loomis ain't gonna pop up? He's gonna come from under the ring and save him for, from something. You know what I'm saying? 
Right. Throwing all kinds of names out there. That I, ain't I mean, there Gar- is also Gar- history Gar- of Gargano, Loomis, and Theory. So essentially, sure. the way reuniting and feuding could happen. I think so. That that could be that be like a little mini story within the story. And at some point, like I think that that's probably the direction that they're gonna go in coming out. If I if my prediction holds true, he loses the title. You now have something for the two of them to do. Gargano and and, and Austin Theory to have a little mini feud. That's a, a nice 10 minutes. That's if Cena minutes, don't even come to Mania. If you don't get Theory and Cena, then I obviously the next thing is going to have to That's be the, like, what the hell does Austin right. Theory do? Because we can't even watch Seth Rollins. That's the here. other thing. And Cena Cena doesn't beat Austin Theory for the title. That is not a title match. That would that'd be pretty a dope That's U.S. title match. match. It's probably one of the biggest U.S. title matches in recent history, actually. That's how it's built. Sure. I mean, it could be like the open, open Titan and he comes back night of kind of shit, but end of the day i don't really think that you don't need that you could put the you know he might have to win but, but cool. i think that would be the biggest united that'd be billed as the biggest united states title match in recent history yeah it'd be it'd be interesting it'd be a spectacle all right the picks is in we'll see what happens we didn't get to the main event we didn't pick the universal yeah. championship oh, match <laughs> Yeah, the match, yeah, right? The match. Uh-huh. I was ready to go to go go. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost we run, there. We almost we there. This we, quick. We almost yeah. there. All right, the main event. We got the Tribal Chief, nine hundred plus days mm-hmm. as the champ, the guy. He is defending against Sami Zayn, formerly Sami Uso, who was formerly Sami Zayn, now again Sami Zayn. <laughs> direction do we see this one going in there's so many interesting storylines going in obviously i believe roman told jay and jimmy and bloodline to stay home am Something i correct like on that. saying that yeah jimmy can't get into canada but i'm pretty yep. sure jay can word, word. but storyline wise roman is telling them i don't need y'all stay at the crib watching on tv yeah right? you did say that last week yeah that's right cool. and i forget to bring this up jimmy jimmy's the one that kept getting in legal trouble right both of them. Oh, both of them had, okay. Yeah, both of them had DUIs. Jimmy's one who can't like, get it. Who had more. Yeah. Yeah, both of them had, like, uh, some troubles. And then, so that was that. Then we have Cody talking to Sammy, who was convincing him, nah, you can actually win, and I want to see you at Mania. I want to see you on Monday kind of shit. So there's a lot of directions that this shit can go in. I'm going to keep my dead simple. I'm going to say that Roman retains. Period. Point blank, period. Roman definitely retains. How we get there could be where we, you know, our outro yeah. survey. But Roman, yeah, is I got Roman too, and I know I've made my predictions about what Sammy is, where Sammy's gonna go after this. But just the way everything is going, I can't even call it. It, it could be anything after after tonight. So yeah, I'm just giving that Roman. I know Roman's definitely, Roman's, ah, Roman's definitely keeping it. Yeah. Um. None of us know what WWE looks like with Sami Zayn as champ. I think it would be cool. I don't, I don't think WWE is dabbling with cool right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Roman Reigns, you know? That's just my honest opinion. As per the insiders have said, plans haven't changed for Mania in quite some time. So, I don't, I don't think that we're going to see a Sami Zayn win here, folks. But... You know, we can guarantee that in Roman Reigns fashion, he's going to undress, he's going to unlace, he's going to lay Sammy down, he's going to stack him, he's going to smash him, he's going to penetrate him. He's going to do everything plausible, <laughs> completely <laughs> plausibly plausible. What? He's going to say the most pause-worthy, disrespectful shit to Sammy Zayn when he's beating this man up on Elimination Chamber. And we're going to hear it loud, like, because, you know, the camera's going to pan up to it, and he's going to be talking mad shit as he's beating him up and leaving him lifeless and carcassless. And he's going to have a quick shot, but then he's just going to get speared and the crowd is going to be so silent that like you can't have anything else but a a Kevin Owens, Cody Reigns appearance, Cody Reigns, Cody Rhodes appearance. And also while I'm here, champions advantage challenge. I'm calling it out again. (laughs) All right. Holy fuck. I'm All calling right. it out again. How many points? All right. <laughs> 10 points, points cumulative. So we're going for 20 points <laughs> altogether. All right. This is a big pay per view, guys. Stakes is high. It's episode 20 something. Yo, this dude lost his fucking mind. Yo. Listen, 
When you're the champ, you can call these champ. You can call this. You know what I'm saying? Champions advantage challenge. The cock. All right. Pause. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Champions advantage challenge. All right. What? Pause. What? All right. Pause. Yo, what? <laughs> so, basically, <laughs> sir, it hopped the rail was yo. bad. Yo. It's the champions <laughs> advantage challenge. It ain't my fault. That's what the fucking yo. first line to start with. Yeah. So, <laughs> the ten point play, five and five, is gonna be: Does KO appear? And. Do the Usos appear or do Jim does Jimmy appear? Keep it light. Oh, okay. Yeah to both. Yeah to both. Yeah to both. Yeah, yeah, yeah to both. Well you said Jimmy's not allowed in, in uh What about Canada. uh what's his face? Uh solo. These are all allegedly because this has been reported before, but who the fuck? All right, all right, let me fine tune that. The tw- the ten point play is Does an Uso Does an appear? Uso screw over Sami Zayn? Or, or and, does KO save Sami Zayn? I feel like that last one should be an easy five points, but that first one could be a tricky one. Yeah, it's yet yeah or both. The save doesn't come before the match ends, though. Roman still wins the match. One but the there's Usos still cost, bloodline cost members Sammy. that can beat the shit out of Sami without Jay and Jimmy. That's this is what I'm saying though. One of the the bloodline members could be one of the Usos. Ends up costing the match interferes or whatever. So that's how that happens. And then to send the crowd home happy, you have Montreal's other son, Kevin Owens, come make the save. They stand tall, and that's how you set up the, the tag title. All right, all right, all right. Hold on a second. Edit so, that. Edit that. The Champions in, Advantage what, 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 what Challenge, the CAC Challenge. Pause. <laughs> I'm changing that. Kevin Owens is not on the list now. Does Cody... Make the save. Does Cody make the save? Because you're right, though. You're saying valid shit. Like, no. I, like Kevin Owens regardless will come out. Well, does Cody save both of them? One or the other? That's our five no, point. I, I, I can't see Cody, that. Cody has no vested interest in whether Roman But you never Sammy know. Sammy. Motherfucker could just pop out at the end of that beatdown and just start saving somebody. No, that's my okay, answer. Right. That's, that's, no, but that's, that's my answer. My answer, my answer is that Won't. Cody... It doesn't okay. make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense for Cody to involve himself, risk potential. This is all kayfabe, by the way. Risk potential injury. I don't have a fucking horse in the race. I want to beat either one of you. So who the fuck cares who it is? You know what I'm saying? It could be this God mode Roman. It could be the scrappy underdog who could surprise me out of nowhere, Sami Zayn. So nah, we do not see Cody have anything to do okay. with this match. So your five points is off the table. So you think that... So you think that Cody is going to interfere in this in some way? Shape, I don't or think or he'll or. interfere. I said he'll save the day. That's the five point play. Nah, an American doesn't save the day in Montreal. That's that's why I'll take my five points because we got to get a Cody Rhodes cameo at some point, my boy. Might as well be when this happens. Ron and Don, what say you? Say it again. You said um um say the. Do we get well, Uso? Will Uso screw we over Sammy? A, will a Uso screw over Sammy and does Cody make the save? That's our 10 point play for this match. Yes on the first one, no on the second on Cody making the save. Okay. Uh, did Roman say that they have to stay home or not? Yes. He wants them to, he stay, wants home. Them to stay home, yeah. Mm, that's right. I'm saying no gonna, to both. Y'all ain't going to I don't mean to interrupt. Y'all are not going to believe what the fuck I just saw crawl across my timeline. Let's finish this segment out, and I'm going to tell you who just popped up at Impact. Mm. Um, I'm going to say no. I don't think. All right. It's poss- If anyone's possible, it's Jey Uso, right? Just because this is a Martin Scorsese film. So I'm going to go with yes, Jay Uso interferes and he turns his back on Sammy, and that's why Sammy loses. Um, And I'm going to say no to the second one. I don't think Cody saves a day. 
I'm so difficultly different that I'm going to go out on a limb here to retain my ringside club heavyweight predictions, undisputed heavyweight championship, two-time champ, that I actually say there's going to be no interference from Anuso. But Cody will make the save at the end of the match when the beatdown occurs. The champ has spoken. The Damn. champ is out. All right. All right. All right. So we'll, we'll have a uh, new champ. There you go. A new so the exit survey is already kind of shot because this is kind of moving into that. Yeah. All right. While, while y'all. 20 well, point play on the CAC. Y'all come Pause. <laughs> this oh, guy. Pause. Yo. Yeah. I'm about to break the pause button. <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't hit that shit about 35 times this episode. Pause. All right, so yeah, say what you gotta say and I'll I'll come up with an exit survey. Yo, who is like a legendary WWE jobber? When I the say Brooklyn, jobber Brooklyn Brawler. Funaki. Good g- No, no. Uh, legendary jobber, Ron. Right? Legendary jobber. Uh shit. Harvey Five Whipple, seconds. man. He's got mid. closer. That's Will you closer. say Boog? Harvey Wibbleman. Shit. Uh, Yo, just now on uh, my timeline, I saw that Barry Horowitz is in Impact Wrestling. Wow. Legendary job. You're doing what? Like, That's I'm going to... Wrestling, in ring. I hate this company. With uh, I hate, Swinger. I hate this Johnny company Swinger. The keys. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I didn't hate Impact Wrestling as much as I do, yo. Like, they deserve so <laughs> much hilarious. more than what they put out. Yo, the tweet from Impact is Johnny Swinger's worst nightmare just came true. The demon is back, and Barry Horowitz picks up the win. Impact on X. Yo, they've got a 73 year old man fighting for the X Division Championship. This company is going to shit's creek, yo. Mike Jackson is fighting for the X Division Championship. This company is going to shit real fast. That's for an episode. MLW. MLW on Tuesdays on real. Barry Horowitz is 63 years old. Shout out to him. Johnny Swinger's about the same age at this point, so it's like they're really, it's like what is happening in Impact, right? Like what is Scott Demore doing that is just like, like Tommy Dreamer is having more fun on creative for Busted Open than he does for some of the Impact Wrestling games. This is insane. Take us out of here, Boog. Well. I had an exit <laughs> survey. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was she was just so dramatic. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to edit this uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> edit this in post there. Who has a better road to WrestleMania? No. What is the quickest match of Elimination Chamber? Oh, shit. Good question. Let me pull this card back up real quick. I'd be surprised if we all don't have the same answer. You mean mean like the shortest match, quickest match you mean? Yeah, shortest match. Yeah, shortest Shortest match. match. All right, so we got the Sammy Roman. That ain't it. Both Elimination Chamber matches. Obviously, that ain't it. That leaves us with Bobby and Brock or Beth Edge and Beth Phoenix versus Judgment Day. I'm going Bobby Brock. It's a heavyweight match. It's slugging. Yeah, I'm going with that too. I'll go with, with Beth and uh, Judgment Day. Bobby Brock. It's going to be a slugfest. As AO would say, it's mad meat, mad pause. We are bugging out. Champions Advantage Challenge. But let them know. Rants and Edge are older. Hey, uh, go fuck yourself, San Diego. And, um,. Uh...